everyone. Happy Friday. Well, I got dressed and I've just been watching TV. I don't really have anywhere to go. I forgot to make, I forgot to call in my prescription yesterday. So I had to call it in today. So I could go to the Harmons and pick up a prescription, which I don't want to do because I'm tired of going there. Um, I don't have anything to do today. I certainly don't feel like organizing or cleaning anything. <laughs> Here's my outfit of the day. This is all Walmart. So these are the joggers that I got at Christmas time for 10 bucks. And they have front pockets. And they're kind of like bulky and I don't know, they just kind of, kind of have this bulkiness where, they, where the hemming and stuff is. So I always wear something baggy and over it because it looks kind of funny. Even if I were to do this, this looks really puckery and stuff. So, and I don't want to have to worry about it. I just want to be comfortable and lay loose. So, and I got this. Was it last year? I think it was last year around Christmas time. And I think this, the bottoms were $10 and the top, I don't know, it was probably 10 or $12. And yeah, I have my hair up in a braid. All I did was braid it and then lifted it up and clipped it with this little hair clip that I have. And then this came from Dollar Tree <laughs> and it just, fits in perfectly and so yeah I just I don't need to buy anything but it's Friday you know I want to get out of the house I want to go do something but it's flipping 215 there's just I've got nothing at Christmas it was easy to vlog every day because you know, I had activities to go to and things to plan and food to make, but now I just, I got nothing. I got nothing. So I don't know what to do with myself. I do need to paint my nails. They are pretty nasty. So, and I think tonight, Daryl and I talked about going to dinner, so I'm not gonna prepare anything for dinner tonight. Because I'm hoping we go out. But as far as going out, it could just be panda. You know. Um, I don't know. Or maybe we'll go to a hamburger joint. I don't know. So it is what it is. And let me tell you what. I am full of cat hair. These pants collect cat hair and lint like crazy. So I have a crap ton of rollers, lint rollers, just for this. Oh, but that's the price you pay for loving your, your orange kitty so much. There she is, she's laying down. Are you taking a nap? I have your hair all over me. Yeah, you're my girl. You're my girl. Hey. You're my special one. All right, everybody. I decided to take us on down to Dollar Tree Town. Of course, I don't know. Mine could be $1.25 now, I don't know. But I'm just going, <laughs> just to get out of the house and because it's fun. And then since it's on the way home, maybe I'll stop off at the Target or maybe even the Michaels.
was the biggest joke. There's like nothing in that store. This Dollar Tree is always poopy. The good one is far away and I don't feel like driving to the good one. Um, those flower pots that looked like wood, I actually put one in my basket and then I had a roll of packing tape in my basket and I'm like, the line is 5,000 miles long. All the lines were super long and I'd gotten there right as all the kids were in there, school letting out. So I just put everything back and left. I was like, I'm not waiting all 10 minutes in line for two dumb little things that I don't even need. It was just lame. So, and I didn't want to buy any junk food or anything. I mean, I did, but I, I didn't do it. I wouldn't let myself. Some Chester cheese puffs were calling my name, but I didn't do it. I'm home. I didn't buy anything. Michael's didn't really have anything. They had a lot of Christmas clearance, but no Halloween. I didn't need Christmas. I didn't. It was all just like garlands and stuff. So, um, yeah, I didn't. I bypassed all that, and they didn't have any Halloween. Um, I went into their bead section, and they were almost everything was almost gone. They're having a 50% off all their strung beads. But I'm wondering if they're getting new inventory or something because almost the whole entire bead section was empty. I was like, are you kidding me? So, anywho, yeah. Dollar Tree was lame. Michael's was lame. That's fine. I didn't need anything or want anything. It was kind of nice just to get out and get some fresh air. So now it's 5 o'clock and I'm waiting for Daryl to get home. I don't know if he's even going to want dinner. It just depends on how much he ate at lunch. I told him, don't gorge yourself at lunch. Because he'll do that. They, get, they go out to lunch and then he eats too much and then he's too full to have dinner. So, guess we'll find out. Yep. You can come on. had closet time in long time. Let's jump, shut the door. She's like, something's missing. The laundry basket's usually here, but I had Daryl take it to the laundry room so that I could do laundry tomorrow morning. Huh, 
because it was full. Our laundry basket was full. Yeah. So we just had a Momo sighting crawling in under the clothes. I think if we open up a little, we might see a little fur ball back here. Oh, there's a fur ball. There's a fur ball. Hi. Oh, you exploring? Yeah, we haven't had explore time in the closet forever. So, hey, everybody. Welcome to the closet. We're never in the closet. And I figured today is a great day to be in the closet. I have got to clean out my closet. I tell you what. I tell you what. Oh boy. Where are you going? I'm driving my people crazy trying to follow you around. So, anywho, it is almost 11 or is it after 11? Nope, it's almost 11 o'clock. Um, I figured since I didn't really have much going on in the video today that I would close out with closet time. It's been a while. Um, we never ended up going to dinner. Daryl wanted to go but I kind of didn't. I wasn't really hungry and I didn't want to be eat a big old fatty hamburger or Panda Express or pizza. I didn't want to go anywhere. I was just feeling bloated and icky and I just, I get that way sometimes. But since then, I had a Thin Witch with the tiniest spread of peanut butter on it. So that wasn't bad. And so, anywho, it is what it is. Um, I told Daryl that tomorrow maybe we'll go to dinner. And I don't know if we'll be going with our friends or just alone. But maybe tomorrow we'll go to dinner. We'll see. Alrighty. So, we're going to um, snoop through this area. I did this a long time ago. And during closet time, we would just go through one box at a time each night. And one night I was on my Ambien and I did the whole thing upside down and I didn't even realize it <laughs> until, until it was too late. So that was so funny. Oh my gosh. But, um, so tonight we're going to take a look at this here box. And I actually brought my tripod in here and so we'll go over it. And I actually had these in front of it. So this is the Tide Antibacterial Fabric Spray. I've used this a few times, not too often, but like I'll spray it on my coat if I remember or some clothes that I might wear the next day if I remember, if I've been out and about. Um, it has a, a light scent to it. It's not bad. And then this is the Downy Wrinkle Releaser Spray. It's alright. It does a good job. Um, I did buy a I did buy a steamer for Daryl for Christmas and he loves it but we just haven't used it yet but he was excited to get that. So I'm going to bring this out and we're going to place it right here and let the tripod help me out. Okay, so hopefully you can all kind of see what's going on here. So this actual basket came from Dollar Tree, uh, I don't know, two or three years ago. They don't have them anymore, but on the inside they are sectioned off with little sections and so I'll show it to you as we go but on this side of the bag or of the box we have a fashion mask this is so cute it's got little hedgehogs on it and birdies and little rabbits it's so cute 
I got it from one of you friends at home. I just love it. This is one I'm just kind of saving. Like I need to put it in my purse because it's nice and flat. And that way I'll have it in case I need it. Super cute. And then these are Korean washcloths actually. And I got them on Amazon.com. And I love these. And they come three in a pack. I am on my second one. Here's the third. So they look like this. And they're really kind of like a scratchy but not too scratchy material and yep made in Korea and then this one's inside out but it doesn't really matter you just get it wet in the shower and then I put my facial wash on get it all sudsed up on my face get this wet and then I put my hand in it and then I wash my face really well with all of my soap. And the texture of this just takes off all the dirt and grime all over your face. And if you were to take one of these and like, like kind of go on your chest under your fun bags and scrub it, you would get so much dry dead skin they're incredible and I don't know if you've ever tried this or have even noticed but whenever you're in the shower or taking a bath do this okay you're you're in the shower or taking a bath go like this on your ankle on both sides just go like that when you're when it's wet and you're in the shower or the bathtub you will be surprised at all the dead skin and dirt that comes off into your fingertips. You'll be surprised. And so I do that all the time now, and so I never have any dirt and grime on my ankles. But especially in the summertime when you're out wearing sandals all the time and you have lotion on and stuff like that, yeah, you get buildup. And I didn't really realize that. And it was a fluke. One day I was just scratching or something right here. And I'm like, ew, all this skin is coming off. It was just dead skin cells. It was nasty. This helps take the dead skin cells off your face too. But anyway, these are like three bucks on Amazon. Super cheap, super cheap. Um, if I remember, I'll link... I'll put a link below to where you can get these. They're amazing. I will never wash my face without one of these. And I also like clean my ears with them too. So we're going to be here all night long talking about everything in my closet. And one washcloth lasts for a couple years. I mean, they last forever. And then after they get wet, they do shrink a little bit. It's weird. Here I have some um, shoe pads that I got at Dollar Tree, and I haven't worn them yet. They're for dress shoes. Um, I just haven't had the need to put them in any yet, but when I do, I will be excited. I will be happy that I have them because I have bad feet. So, and these have, you can see the cushions on them. So, hopefully, they'll be good. This is where I keep our toothpaste. This is for Daryl. I used to use this a lot too, but I'm having some gum sensitivity over one tooth on my top. On my top right, there's this little tooth that kind of hurts up by the gum line and so I thought I would try this pro enamel intensive enamel repair whitening toothpaste and I'm on like my third tube but I just save this so that I can know exactly which one to buy because they have so many different kinds so this one's empty but I'm saving it as a reference so 
I'll take this out. And then here are my cotton rounds from Dollar Tree. I just love them. Love them. Take off my makeup with them, my eye makeup. I don't know if you remember that I bought this, but my Your Skin But Better Foundation by It Cosmetics, the one that I'm currently using in my makeup drawer is almost empty. Like you squeeze it and it kind of doesn't come out anymore. And so I went and bought a brand new bottle. But in the meantime, I was trying to still finish up the old bottle. And then in the meantime, after that, I started using the Laura Geller powders. And so this thing has still not been opened. It was like 40 bucks. I like it, but I'm just really into my... Laura Geller right now so but I really like it it's got um, foundation plus skin care improves bare skin in two weeks I really like it I do so that's that I have amazing grace dry shampoo this smells so nice you can get it at Kohl's and like if you have Kohl's bucks um, you can use it. The coupons don't work with this, but um, your Kohl's cash will. And then also Ulta sells it. And Ulta sells, is it Ulta or just QVC? But one of them sells the Baby Grace um, dry hairspray, and I want to try that. Um, Baby Grace smells really good, and I bet it will smell really good in dry shampoo. The perfume is a bit strong for me, but the hairspray and the lotion, I have the lotion as well. It's just beautiful. But the spray is just a little too musky on me. And then I use these Dove Go Fresh Dry Deodorant Sprays. I was kind of collecting them for a while because I love them so much. So this one is like... It's called Revive, and then this one's Apple. This one looks like it has pomegranate. So this one kind of smells like sweet cinnamon pumpkin from Bath and Body Works, and then this is just Apple. But I like to wear these in the fall time because it just goes along with the season. I love them. But I also do have a regular Dove clear finish and it smells wonderful. It smells like heaven. And I use that as a body spray, not just a deodorant, but an actual body spray. It smells just wonderful. So that's that. Now these three things are my Mary Kay eye makeup removers. They're the oil-free eye makeup removers. And they also... Um, take off waterproof mascara really really well. I love them. I will always use them So when my Mary Kay lady at Christmas time always has her sale She has one at Christmas time and then one in July. I always buy one or two They're $14 I think a piece or $14.50 and They last me forever They are just great They're fantastic Here's where I keep our deodorant. Here's Daryl's. He likes to use Sure. Here is a secret pH balance for women. Smells good. This one's in powder fresh. I just keep this in here. Like when I get ready to go for my walks in the summertime, I'll just get ready in here and then I've got I've got some deodorant to put on as well as some some you know, cuckoo spray, so you smelling good everywhere. So I'll just leave these in here. And then I have a little deodorant that I got from Dollar Tree, and it smells good too. This is Shower Fresh. Mmm. I forgot how good that one smells. I like that a lot too. And then here is a Dove lotion. This one is brand new. Still has the foil. I love this stuff, and you can get it at the Dollar Tree. 
see how this is, you can see the dividers in here. Yeah. And then here I've got some close-up um, dental floss. It's the kind that has the pick and the floss. I just keep a bunch of these under my bathroom sink in a little box. Ugh. Well, anyway, these are handy to keep in your purse, too. They're great. And then in here, I have a suit bag, a suit storage bag. I don't know. These are great. I love them. They used to have big ones for gowns, but they don't have them anymore. But I loved the gowns. Like, here's one right here. I have a few of them that are old that I keep my dresses in that are made of wool and just just some of my nicer dresses and then um, I wish they had more they just don't they only carry the jacket so my husband puts all his suits in these I have some sweaters in these you can put anything you want in these these are great and then Oh, these are the Bic, the Bic Silky Touch razors. Um, looks like both sides have been open. You get ten razors, but I just like these. I think I got these at Walmart, actually, but I like them because you can use them and then after a month or so, chuck them. Because they will get rusty. Um, after a while, the blades will get rusty, so always check your blades and make sure there's no rust on them before you use them. That is my advice with that. Here's a brush that I got out of an Ipsy bag, I think it was. It's called Moda Pro, and this is an accentuator brush, I guess. You could probably put, um, you could probably put um, highlighter on with this, or maybe a little bit of special contouring with contour powder. I haven't used it yet, but I like it, and one day I'll probably use it. And the last things I have in here are my CoverGirl Perfect Blend Eye Pencil. And these are Smoky Taupe. These are my favorite. I got these on Amazon. They, they came two in a pack. And these are my favorite. And I don't know if they still sell them anymore. I think they do. Um, I used it in my Get Ready video with me. And I believe I set a link for these. So I think they still have them available. But... They're great. I love them. They're the perfect color. I just love them. And then, so this box on the side here, you probably can't really see, but there's an, an elastic in case you wanted to stick a brush down in here or like a bottle of spray. See how that there's that band there? So I think that's kind of neat. It just and you get three of them. You get three bands. So I thought that was kind of fun. Like you can put. Let's see. Like here's a makeup brush. I can put my makeup brush right in there. Um. I could maybe put my skincare in here. Maybe not. That's too fat. Anything round or nice, or just maybe my pencils can go in here. Maybe not. But anyway, you get the gist. So I have two of these, and I like how they kind of keep things separated. So that's that. That was show and tell for tonight, everybody. Not bad, considering I am half asleep. And I don't quite remember where everything went. That's okay. Let's see. Got this big old deodorant here. What's in this one here? Let's 
So there's nothing I need to throw away, it looks like. Let's see. I forgot about these. I don't know what I was doing. And this side also has the elastics, so that's kind of nice. Alright, so there is box number one. Tomorrow, or whenever, we'll do box number two. It's not quite as exciting as this one, <laughs> but it's doable. So on that note, I guess it's time for bed. <laughs> oh no, here come the hiccups. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh. So we'll see what we do tomorrow. Uh, I was thinking, well, maybe I'll make cookies, but he brought home f three or four donuts. He's already had one and a half. I ate, I took like two bites of each one. <laughs> each one and that's that and since we didn't go out to dinner tonight maybe we'll go out to dinner tomorrow I can't even talk any anymore you guys so we'll see but I'm trying to vlog every day again I just find I'm happier when I vlog even though I don't have much to vlog but I'll try to make it happen I mean, I can't prom I can't promise, but I'll try to vlog every day. All right. Okay, kids. Thanks for hanging out with me today. <coughs> Sorry, this vlog is so crazy, but hopefully tomorrow will be better. I just love you, and thanks for hanging out with me. And we'll see you ne next time. Good night, everybody.